All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the drive-thru. Hope everyone's having a great day. Hungry? It's Fifth Bell. I'm sure you are. Stop by the deli. Get yourself a uh, sandwich on a honey bun. Maybe it's the honey ham with Havarti and spicy mustard. Um, and bring some lettuce, you know. Keep it, keep it healthy. Okay, so this is 1-1, one, one, number 49. This right here is, I think, explaining to you why unit vectors are useful, okay? So here's the scenario. We want V to have a magnitude of 2, but we want it to go in the direction of U, okay? So first of all, you should widmapoi as much as you can in here. Do you guys know what widmapoi is? It's a very famous math ac acronym. When in doubt, make a picture of it. Of course you guys know that. Widmapoi. Okay, everyone knows Widmapoi. So, um, Mr. that's Mr. Lothrop's. So, you go right radical 3 and up 3, so this looks something like this. Okay, so the hypotenuse is the magnitude. So the magnitude of U is the square root of 3 plus 9, so it's the square root of 12, right? All right, so let's turn u into a unit vector, this one. Well, how would we do that? How do we make u into a unit vector? We just divide it by its magnitude, right? So. Um, let's call it W, the magnitude of W equals 1, and that vector can be written as radical 3 over 12, comma, 3 over 12. I'll simplify at the end, okay? Sorry, radical 3 over radical 12, comma, 3 over radical 12. Is that right? Okay, now how long is W again? And is it going in the proper direction? So what do we need to do to make it 2? Just double it. So V must be 2 radical 3 over radical 12, comma, 6 over radical 12. And now I'll just simplify that. Radical 12 is 2 radical 3, so it's no, that can't be true. What's radical 12? 2 radical 3? Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Oh, no, it's supposed to be 2, not 1. We're good. I think we're good. So it's 1, comma, uh, 3 over radical 3. I'd be fine with that. Or it's 1, comma, 3 radical 3 over 3. Which is, okay, which is radical 3. Oh, yeah, so we should write it like that. That's how you should write it. Thank you. Now, 1 squared plus radical 3 squared is 4. Square root, we're good. That's 2. Got it? Yeah. So we had to find a unit vector and then multiply it by 2. Boom!